Hey guys, my name is Shawnee and welcome back to my space. So, in November, um, Billie Eilish put on her Instagram story her favorite cookie recipe and I screenshotted all of the steps to it because I was like, I like peanut butter cookies and I want to give it a go. And then I was like, why don't I just make a YouTube video out of it? So today we are making Billie Eilish's favorite peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. Apparently they are gluten free. I think they're vegan. No, they wouldn't be vegan. I'm pretty sure she said that they're gluten free at least. I'm not sure. Maybe vegetarian. I don't know. I think, ooh. <laughs> hold on, she, hold on. Um, yeah, so Billy's put down that these cookies are fully vegan and gluten free and are amazing. So I'm ready to give them a go. I'm gonna walk through all the steps with you and we're gonna make some cookies. Also, do you like a new kitchen? It's pretty cool. This is a new house, this is a new kitchen and um, it's very bright, it's very uh, different to the other one, but I like it. I think it's gonna be good. I'm gonna film a lot of cooking videos in here. All right, so I've got all of my instructions written up and ready to go on here. I've got all my ingredients, um, let's go. So the first step she says is to preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, we don't use Fahrenheit here, we use Celsius. So let me just do a quick little Google. So about 175 degrees Celsius is what I'm going for. So the first step that she's got is add a cup of brown sugar and peanut butter into a mixing bowl and mix for a minute. She's listed that the peanut butter that she uses is Kirkland Organic. Um, and I couldn't find that because I think it's just because I'm in Australia and we don't really have the same ingredients as overseas. So I've got Maver's Super Tasty Smooth Peanut Butter. Um, that's what that looks like. So I'm gonna give that a go, we'll see. So that's about a cup. All right, cup of peanut butter. I'm gonna mix it up a bit because it's got like natural oils on top of it, so yeah, it says to mix it first. So let's give a little shake. Whoa. <laughs> That's so, I've never had like peanut butter that you can pour out of a jar. Damn. <laughs> That's sick. I'm just gonna use a spoon. I might actually end up using this whole jar. Um, Pretty much the whole job. So there's the peanut butter. Oh god. That's so satisfying. Holy shit. Okay, so mix it for a minute. I know it's only brown sugar and peanut butter at the moment, but sure. it, it, it kind of already looks good. So let's keep going. Um, add two teaspoons of vanilla extract and mix. Um, so I'll just add this one. Oh I'm just gonna mix this by hand because I don't think it's gonna matter too much. Okay, so we're done with the wet ingredients for the moment. Next step is in a separate bowl, add baking soda, uh, a cup of oat flour, and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Okay, let's do that. You just have to put up with not seeing my face at the moment, I'm sorry. Cup of oat flour. Don't make a mess. I made a mess. 
Little more. Cup of egg flour. So we got bicarb soda. So one teaspoon of this. And it's an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, so like barely anything. So we're mixing all of this together now. And then we're adding both wet and dry ingredients together. Alright, so those are our dry ingredients. Oh my god, half of that one on the table. It's fine. That's fine. This is fine. Let's go put this in the mixer. Um, we've mixed both bowls together and now it says add a quarter of a cup of almond milk to the mixture and mix. So let's do that. This is literally, there's barely any almond milk. chalk chips to the cookie mix and then we're baking them and that's it so let's do this does it say how much it doesn't have a measurement for how many chocolate chips mix it in. Oh my god. I might need some more almond milk. Oh yeah. I need some more almond milk into this because it's very dry and crumbly. So maybe use a bit more almond milk if you're making this. It's just falling apart. I need more. I'm just going to add as I go. Maybe use half a cup of almond milk instead of a quarter because um, that just got really dry and crumbly for me until I added more. So, yeah. Alright, so she says to roll them up into bowls and spread it out with a fork because these won't rise by themselves because they're using oat flour. So let's do that. pull them out of the oven. Um, I'm going to let them cool down for a bit because right now they're a bit squishy and they need to just um, harden up a bit. Um, so I'm going to let them cool down on their trays and then I'll show you the final product and we'll see what they taste like.
and they're done. Now it's time to taste them. I'm I'm very excited about this. So oh, I'm so excited. All right, let's see. Let's see if Billie Eilish's favorite cookies are good. I think they're gonna be good, to be honest. So let's see. They're good. <laughs> Shit. They're really good. They're not super duper sweet, but they're good. Like, it's a really good balance between chocolatey peanut butter and just the slightest bit of sweetness with the brown sugar. It's really good. Um, if you want to try making this recipe, uh, I'm going to leave it in uh, the description below if you want to give it a shot yourself. All the information will be down there. Um, let me know if you do make it. Um, I'd love to see uh, what you guys think about the cookies, if you like them or not. Thank you to Billy for giving me this recipe. We didn't really give it to me personally, but thanks for putting it on your story and giving me the ability to try it. Um, I'm going to be making these again. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching. Um, if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. If you like the content, we do lots of different content each week. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.